What's going on, FA Nation? John Pemba here with James Grande. Welcome into the Fantasy Alarm MLB DFS podcast here. Four games, Thursday, early slate, 12.35 lock time. We're here on the Better Sports Network and the Fantasy Alarm social channels. James, this will be a pretty quick show here today. Four games. Again, we're not we're going on over. Uh, L.A., Baltimore, Tampa Bay, New York, Washington, Miami, Cleveland, and Chicago on today's slate. Yeah, uh, pretty interesting slate. We only have totals for three of those games. Tampa Bay recalling top prospect Tosh Bradley up to uh, reconvene his start, uh, reconvene his tenure with Tampa Bay, uh, despite the fact that he should have been here all along. Uh, We also have Yuri Perez on this slate, who dazzled in his debut. Uh, Logan T. Allen. This is the slate of uh, pitching prospects here, John. Sure. Logan T. Allen, Taj Bradley, and Yuri Perez. Matt, this is Matt Sell's wet dream um, here uh, yeah. on on, uh, on Thursday. Dylan Cease at the top has not pitched all that well, although he is coming off his best start probably of the and year. He, and he gets Cleveland. <laughs> and he gets Cleveland in a, in a depleted matchup. Um, Tyler Wells. like It's an interesting slate, I'd say. Um, I'd say, you know, just upon initial look, I like pitching quite a bit for a fourth game slate, and that's mainly because it is the prospects um, on the on the on the docket. But um, an interesting four game slate. Uh, let's look at Vegas: nine implied runs in Los Angeles, Baltimore; eight in Washington, Miami; eight in Cleveland, Chicago. We do not have uh, at this time of recording. We do not have the uh, Tampa Bay. Uh, let's see. We have Tampa Bay. Nope, nothing yet. Uh, minus one. Even money. I don't have a total for it, though. Uh, even money in that game. Dylan Cease, the biggest favorite, minus one. Uh, Yuri Perez, the biggest favorite, minus 155 on the money line. Okay, cool. Uh, again, four games, not a lot to talk about in terms of the depth of player pool. But as you mentioned, the quality of player pool here is actually kind of on our side. Uh, Dylan Cease is $9,700. We've been picking on him a lot this year, basically saying not worth the money that he's been priced up at. Yep. However, uh, if you tuned into our live stream uh, on Wednesday, uh, we talked about just how bad Cleveland's been. To the point that we were willing to pitch uh, Clevenger. We saw Lance Lynn dazzle this Cleveland lineup, and now they have the best pitcher, in quotations, on the White Sox on the mound here in Dylan Cease. I, unless they get Ramirez back, you know, and I don't know if that's been determined or how long he'll be on bereavement for. Dylan Cease is just a ridiculous upside pitcher in a ridiculous spot. Yeah, um, I think a lot of people are going to get to Cease, obviously. I am just very intrigued about what the masses do elsewhere because – Tosh Bradley, elite prospect going up against a Mets offense that has been a shell of themselves, or at least what they expected to be. Logan T. Allen has looked very good in his stints with Cleveland, but can they score enough runs to get him a win? He has one win in four starts. Uh, He's looked very good. Yuri Perez might be the most exciting of all three stands he's very tall he throws very very hard yeah he throws very very hard um and he threw 88 pitches in his debut but now he gets washington who doesn't strike out so like there's a lot of intrigue of just like the pitchers themselves yeah i like for me it's gonna be hard not to play yuri Perez at 7700 i understand washington doesn't strike out a lot but like this guy is just like he just looks so different than everyone else. Like right. when he when the baseball comes off his hands. Um, so for me, Yuri Perez would be like my SP two, and I didn't like intentionally skip over Tyler Wells because Tyler Wells has been very good this say, year. Like, sleeping on Tyler Wells here. Um... I just like okay. Not sleeping on Tyler Wells, but let's be honest. Like, are we more excited about Bradley Allen Perez? Are we excited, like more? You know, there is a minority that is probably excited about more excited well, about Tyler I, I Wells. I think it's clear no one's playing Tyler Wells of, of this group. That is the so. yeah. The people who want, are more excited about Tyler Wells uh, also root for the Baltimore Orioles. That is yeah. 
that is the. I, I think. I think for me, it, it, your, to your point, it's Cease, it's Bradley, and it's Perez. I know you're a Logan T. Allen guy. Uh, I'm gonna pass on him again on this slate, uh, and I would just go to the other three. Yeah, that's fine. I I get it. Um, Chicago has been better. And we know Tim yeah, Anderson is on back. his. They got Anderson back. Yep, Anderson if hits only lefties Eli well. Amanda, it's gonna ever stay healthy. I mean, like, ugh, poor guy. Like I said, this is. I had my you know appendix removed too, so I understand how that goes. Like that's just a fluke thing, you know. Me and Eli both were are in tip top shape. We both had to have our appendix removed, like flukes, you know. Um, yeah. Other than that, though, like. Good luck finding anything else. Like Tyler Anderson had a quality start last time out, John. I know. Four fantasy points in that game. Yep. Four. Yep. One uh, strikeout against Cleveland. No, less. no thanks. No thanks. Yep. I'm with you there. Trevor Williams, the guy that, that is frustrating at times. Um, he had a start suspended due to inclement weather. He had five shutout against Chicago, six innings, two earned against minnesota five and one like he's had good outings and he's had two tough outings against the mets and the the diamondbacks here not a big strikeout guy but can get you a handful i mean i don't know is there anything here for you with him against miami so where trevor williams struggles and where he has struggled is lefties and i think that's important here because the best two lefties at least from a fantasy perspective or a damage perspective Jazz Chisholm, Jesus Sanchez, both in the IL. Right. So, yes, uh, unfortunately. Now, you'll get him at extreme low ownership. Miami has, like, no lefties. They have Luis Arias, Joey Wendell. That's the end of the list. Like, righties don't give Trevor Williams issues. It's right. um, so... The answer is I do have my old interest in Trevor Williams, and that is terrifying. Because it's <laughs> All right, let's go to catcher then. Uh, Adley's at 53, and then it's obviously a big drop-off from there. Uh, Yasmani, Betancourt, potentially in the lineup there. Um, Zunino, we know, has power. Where are you? Who's, your, who's the guy that immediately jumps off the page to you when you're looking at the uh, catcher position? I mean, Rutschman always does. That would be the first name um 291 against lefties this year 366 woba righties hitting 301 with the 386 woba against tyler anderson so perfectly fine spending up on rutschman and i think you know dylan cease is 9700 that's the most expensive pitcher we have on the slate so right. paying up for rutschman doesn't feel like a bad idea because you comfortably get there um so i like that grundahl is better from the right side, I believe. Let's see if that split is the, or the left side rather. Um, can't confirm it right now, but uh, I'll, I'll look into it. In a second, I'm okay getting to Yasmani Grandal. It's not like uh, I mean, it's, rather... a small, it's a small sample of catchers, anyway. It's a pick from him on this slate. So um, Chad Wallach has continued to be good. Twenty fantasy points the other day, three for five in a home run. If he's in the lineup. I can get there. Um, Francisco Alvarez, he's been better. I don't know if like you really want to attack Taj Bradley, but you can, as you mentioned, just kind of a small sample of, of catchers sure. um, to choose from. So maybe they maybe they play uh, Michael Perez, who they just called up, and in his debut he went four for four. He's a lefty. So maybe Perez is the catcher that they start against Taj Bradley. Maybe in that case I would – play michael perez but um it's rutchman uh let me just i have the grandel splits i just want to okay. make sure that we're not before we move on um he has a okay so he's definitely been better he has what logan t allen here yeah yeah he's been terrible from the right side of the plate so no thanks sounds good uh first base position wait john what your boy uh, Sevi, Sevi Zavala, 2200. He hit okay. lefties well last year. Yeah. If he's in the lineup, he could be. I'll, he's been bad this year. He's been not hitting terrible. anybody this year, but. You played a lot of, you played a I lot did of Zavala a last lot year. Of that is true. 100%. Um, all right. Back to first base. 
Uh, Otani, 63. He's your top price guy there against Wells. Uh, Mountain Castle gets the lefty. I feel like that'll probably be the lock play. I understand what Anderson just did, but still. Mountain Castle at 45 feels pretty good. Yeah, I mean, just did is loose. Like, yeah, he had a quality start, but he didn't miss any bats and he's Mount largely Castle didn't been... even start yesterday's game and his two hits he went for a double and a home run. So <laughs> Uh, yeah, he is a powerful dude um, that has a lot of upside. I'm perfectly fine getting to Mount Castle. I'm perfectly fine getting to Otani. Uh, the four-hit game he had the other day was during a start that he also made uh, with a lot of strikeouts. I would be interested in some Rays here in Harold Ramirez. They led Harold Ramirez off on Tuesday. So I'm interested to see if they would do that again if Yandy Diaz continues to miss time. He's missed um, two straight games. Well, they had they had low leadoff today against Senga. Right. I'm just curious if they, like, I, I don't know. They, they've done a couple of different things. Um, either way, if Harold Ramirez does enter the lineup, um, I don't hate Harold Ramirez. Guy continues to just hit baseballs for the last two years. Tampa, whatever the water, whatever's in the water in Tampa, just always seemingly what works. Um, sure. So I, it, the note here on Yandy Diaz says they expect him to be back in the lineup for Thursday. So maybe I would even circle back to the powerful Yandy Diaz at five k. I mean, listen, we've been wondering when the power to come with this guy for like three years, and now he's at already has ten homers, right? So. <laughs> Uh, if you go, if you ever go look at a picture of Yandy Diaz, the man is yoked. Yeah, he right? is. Jacked. But it, he is it didn't make any sense that he wasn't a power hitter, and now he now he is. So yeah, I mean Taylor McGill is has not been anything. I think what the Mets thought they were getting out of him. Um, righty's hitting him well. Lefty's hitting him well. The the Rays have three first base options here, and obviously you could play Luke Rayley in the outfield. Uh, but I would get to any and all of them. Okay. Uh, Andrew Vaughn against the lefty and Allen, 2,900 Yes, bucks. yes, 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 yes. Andrew Vaughn against lefties, yes. Okay, and then Ventios is mid price again. Yep, I'm only because of salary, not because of the matchup. Is it, how do you say it? Is it Ventios? Vient, Vientos? Vient, Vientos. 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 Second base. Luis Raz and his singles are $5,400. Lau at 46. Again, I'm I'm just in on, on Tampa today. So yep. uh, I'll keep running back to the well. Yep. Uh, uh not I don't the love wall, I don't love that. <laughs> nice. Uh yeah, 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 yeah. All right. What other second baseman do you look at? Uh Taylor Walls, if you want to keep that train going. Uh Jeff McNeil, a singles hitter, not over five thousand dollars, thirty eight hundred. Sure. Um Baltimore loves playing Adam Frazier against Wait, lefties. Adam Frazier, right? Dude, I don't know why they like playing him against lefties so much. Um, beats me, but, you know, I, 342 Woba against lefties this year. Not too bad. He'll probably uh, in the lefty-lefty split. Hanser Alberto will probably be in the lineup for Chicago. Yeah, well, finally, though, I've been waiting for him to against a lefty for a little bit. So. And he's hitting. He's been good. Like, uh, so, um, Hanser, I think is fine. That's, you don't really need to explore anything further. Nope. I'm with you there. Uh, third base position here. Um, I guess we'll see what happens with Ramirez. Do they have a time frame for him? No, just on the bereavement list can miss up to seven days. So I guess we'll see. We'll see. (laughs) Um, Moncada's 43. Will, will Gunnar Henderson ever figure it out? Doesn't seem like it. Mm, Birdie at thirty three, Baby at thirty two. Not 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 the strongest third base position here. Hanser can play third. Could just could just slot him in there. Yeah, um, I'm okay getting to Mankata. I'm looking at the splits here just to see what we've. Jake Berger and his nine homers, thousand. Yeah, that's that was where I would go. Um, that was where I would go. If I was going anywhere down here, uh, I do. I don't mind Beatty 3200. Mancata splits the last few years have this has been the strong side. Uh, he had a 217 ISO against left handed pitching last year. That's very good, almost an 800 OPS. Um, so, like, I could get to some Yuan Mancata. 
Not going to play Gunner lefty lefty, unfortunately, because um, he's been worse lately than he has been. Uh, Isaac Isak Paredes double dong the other day, 3,400. I know it's not a lefty, but like we just saw the upside out of him. He just he has a lot of runs batted in. Hanser and El- and Jake Berger are definitely the two guys down here. I'd rather Jake Berger for the upside than Hanser and just play Hanser at second if we needed to play him there. Uh, but yeah, Jake Berger. Yeah, I mean, all the guy does is hit home runs. Love it. Um, shortstop. Wander's at your top spot there. Um, Mateo's day to day. What do we got an update on him? Uh, out of the lineup Wednesday, soreness could be back for expected to be back Thursday. So, uh, as bad as he's been, like very, 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 very bad. Yep. Very, very bad. Very bad. Uh, he is expected to return. Uh, Tim Anderson at 45 gets the lefty. He's always been a guy that hits lefties pretty well. Uh, and then the position again drops off the face of the earth here. CJ Abrams, I guess, 2,600. Joey Wendell, 23, maybe? Yeah, Wendell's fine. Um, the lefty against Williams there, so, I mean. Yeah, lefty against Williams. I do like the bat for Abrams lately. He has been better. Um, NATO's going to probably hit ninth with the righty on the mound. Um, Brian Roccio is the guy they called up for um, Jose Ramirez. Like, I was hitting 338 at AAA. He has a lot yeah. of speed. So maybe that's where you go. But like that's also now you're not playing Dylan Cease or you are playing someone against Dylan Cease in that in that um spot. So shortstop isn't the best position uh that we've had. I'm okay if you want to just get to wander at 57. Sure. Um outfield. Again, smaller slate, so smaller player pool. So, guys, we've already discussed Otani, you know, is considered there. You have said Mulvers, a lefty, so you know he'll hit, the, hit towards the bottom of their lineup most likely. Um, Trout, a Rosarena, and like Jorge Soler is in this group now, right? Like, I mean, yeah. you know, no, no disrespect to the home run king here. Uh, four homers in the last 10, 997 OPS, um, but he's not generally mixed in, it feels like, with this group. No. Uh, big price bump lately, 43, 49, 53. So they're on, he's on the rise, but you know, it, not, not your typical talent pool here at outfield. Is that uh is that his price rose because he hit the furthest home run of all time or like, is that yeah, the only yeah, reason? Probably, <laughs> probably what, what happened there. Um, I like, I'm perfectly fine getting to the angels like Tyler Wells, so Tyler Wells is obviously interesting. You know, the 2680 ERA, 442 XFIP, almost two full runs worse. 145 BABIP, like that's not sustainable. Doesn't really miss bats. 1.5 home runs per nine is still like a lot. Where I think Tyler Wells is going to start running into problems. 50% fly ball rate, 36% hard hit rate. And everything suggests he's just getting lucky. Like, All right. The Angels are not a team to mess around with with fly balls because although they're like obviously the most inconsistent franchise in like recent memory, Otani, Trout, Renfro, Drury, all dudes that just hit home runs. Like they all have multi home run upside on a given slate. So I could get to either of these Angels outfielders if you want to throw um, Renfro in that mix as well. I love both Tampa guys in Josh Lowe and Randy Rosarena. Um, Lowe, preferably, he's the lefty in this spot. Anthony Santander, though, is probably the play, right? 4,700 against the lefty. That's just kind of been the spot for him. He has been a lefty masher um, for a long while this year. No different. 392 Woba this year for Anthony Santander. Yeah, I mean, a big gap between power lately. He had the one home run a couple nights ago. Then he had the double dong against Freed. Um, little struggles in between all of that, but maybe definitely a good spot to maybe get him back on, on the schneid there for sure. Um, I mean, Austin Hayes hits lefties well. Roberts, $4,100, kind of like that spot for him also. Um Da, 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 da. I mean, it feels like somebody on Washington's playable. No. Um, Lane Thomas would probably be that guy. Yeah. He's been he's been very good. It's probably true. 
trying to see if there's any obvious. Oh, Corey Dickerson back finally. You gonna get to see Dick Don? He is. He is activated. Could see Corey Dickerson here at twenty two hundred bucks. Um, you know who I think is interesting? Twenty seven hundred Mickey Moniak. They led him off the other day, uh, for the Angels, and he had a home run. He's twenty seven hundred dollars. He's played three games. He has two home runs. Um, he has. He also has two. He also had two stolen bases in his in his season debut. If they continue to lead him off, like again, there is something to be said about a guy in Tyler Wells that doesn't strike people out, has a one forty five BABIP. His Sierra and his XFIP are over two, like two runs north of his ERA. Yeah. Pitching to a fifty percent fly ball rate and a thirty six percent hard hit rate, like. That's unsustainable number. Like unsustainable, it just is. Like you're not going to pitch long term and be this good long term. Right. So um I could get see myself getting to some Mickey Moniac. Um the only problem is like we run into again, the Angels actually have one, two, three, four, five. They might have six guys in their lineup on Thursday that all play in the outfield. Right. Like that's just like how like what are we doing? Like there has to be another way. Like I, yeah. and I get it. They are giving us Otani at first base. Like, thank you. Right. That's like, you don't need to do that because he doesn't play first. Well, like this is outrageous. Like six guys, literally six might be in their outfield tomorrow. And like, you can only, you know, so I like Moniac 27, but I like him better if he's leading off. Like they had him lead off the other day. Yep. That's fine by me. All right. Let's build the lineup. Actually, give me your home run call first. Oof. Um, I'm gonna go Angels here. Okay. Fifty percent fly ball rate is is uh scary. I'm gonna go Otani. Uh, leaves the yard. I like the lefties better in that ballpark anyway. Uh, I'm gonna go Mount Castle, forty five hundred. Okay, so we're both we're both leaving Camden yards here. Leaving 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 Camden. Uh, all right, pitching here. I I feel like we gotta play Cease. I want to play Cease and Yuri Perez. Triple. Okay, I'm in. Uh, catcher. Adley Rutschman. Okay. First base. Um, I had Mount Castle's Mount Run call, but yeah, let's go Mount Castle. Second base. Hanser. That's probably the play if we're not using one of the Tampa. We're at thirty eight hundred dollars a uh, a player left. So well, we're playing. We're playing my boy Moniac in the outfield. All right, boy okay. Mickey, twenty seven hundred. Okay. Um, shortstop's gonna be a position we probably want to spend Burger up. Burger at third, I guess. Burger at third, for sure. Uh, okay. So Burger's there. Forty four hundred to play. Play. I feel like we don't have enough. Tampa. I feel like we don't have enough Tampa. I don't know if you feel that as well. I, I don't know. I agree. I Taylor agree. Miguel. Yeah, I mean, Franco is 57. You go Luke Rayleigh, 36 in the outfield. Rayleigh. Okay, 41. What does Hanser, what does Hanser get us in the outfield? Uh, 56. We get a Rosarena. Okay. Rosarena right there. Got a Franco, Rayleigh, Rosarena. Play yes. with a two man Rutschman. Um, we could also do Santander if we really wanted to go in on Anderson there. Um, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, I also like Otani too. So, like, we're in a little sure. bit of a pickle. Well, we're, gonna here. Make a couple, we're gonna make a couple lineups here. We got a couple more minutes to go. Um, so Cease, Yuri Perez, Rutschman, Mountcastle, Alberto Berger, which probably connects, honestly. In that yeah, one, prob- right? probably, yeah. Uh, Franco, Moniak as a one-off here at 27. Rayleigh and a Rosa Reina. Is there anybody 28 that would fit a stack better? No. So, I right. uh, Gavin Sheets at 23, I guess, would be a connector for that uh, spot there. Lefty, 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 lefty. I don't, uh, know, if truth, he's, I don't truth, even know if he'd truth, be in the lineup. Truth, truth. Um, all right. So this is a, an initial first build here. Rutschman, Mountain Castle, Alberto Berger, Franco, Moniac, Rayleigh, Arosa, Reina with Cease, and Perez uh, up there at pitching. Uh, let's build that Angel stack that you were talking about here. 
We go. Do we go Otani at first? We're, we're. I think we have to. Just like I don't know who else. You know, they just have, they have ninety seven outfielders. Uh, they Moniac. just don't offer us anything. Yep. Okay. Uh, catcher. I imagine we can't go Rutschman at this point. I would say Chad Wallach or Matt Tice. They've both been very good. It's 3,500 like, with Cease and Perez with the three Angels. Yeah, it's pretty I mean, if we just stick with Alberto as a punt here. And Burger. Uh, 37 7, Burger, yeah. Or Ventios. Ventios is also min salary at third. I kind of like Burger better, though. Okay. I like a good Burger. 4,200 catcher, shortstop, and outfielder. I mean, Lewis Robert just. Again, just yeah. like sticks out like a sore thumb. So, yep. Yep. Uh, 42 50 catcher and shortstop. Play, play Wander and see what happens. I think we'll be able to get one of the uh, Alvarez, Matt Tice, 26. Tice, where is he? Hitting 345 over his last 10, hitting 302 oh. on the year. Don't hate it. Don't hate it. So, there is uh, our second build here, still using Season Perez. Got four Angels still going with the White Sox stack here. Uh, Tice, Otani, Alberto, Berger, one-off Wander, Trout, Moniak, and Robert. So uh, that there is our look at the four-game early slate, 12-35. Sorry, four-game main slate. There's only a couple of games total on Thursday here. Uh, so go ahead and check all of that out. We'll have the playbook out for everybody on Thursday also, if you're not yet a member of the Fantasy Alarm family, you know where to go. Go to fantasyalarm.com slash allpro. Promo code MLB50 will save you 50% off the first six months. $19.98 a month for the first six months. And now we have a seven-day free trial included as well. Uh, stay tuned on the Better Sports Network all day long. Download the free Better Sports Network app. Uh, we have our Fantasy Football Best Ball Invitational Draft here being held over on Underdog Fantasy this afternoon. If you're not yet a member of uh, the Underdog Fantasy community there, download the app. Uh, go sign up using promo code Fantasy Alarm. Go to fantasyalarm.com slash underdog fantasy, promo code Fantasy Alarm. You can scan the QR code on the screen. You get 100% deposit match up to $100. You can get in our premium Discord. We're running best ball drafts every day with guys like Howard Bender, Andrew Cooper, myself, James Grande, Justin Freeland, Colby Conway, the whole crew there, uh, getting everybody ready for the upcoming fantasy football season. So stay there. Check it out on the Better Sports Network earlier today. You can watch it all on demand on the app as well if you download it in your iTunes and Google Play store. James and I will be back for Friday. Good luck, everybody. We'll catch you all later.